Finofe channel checking in and today I wanted to talk about power block stands. When the Rona virus hit and everyone was in lockdown and gyms were shutting down left and right, I did a review of the power blocks, interchangeable dumbbells that are hugely popular that I've had for quite some time and I have loved. Um, so I thought now that gyms are reopening, now that many people are going back to local gyms, to their Globo gyms, to their CrossFit gyms, that I should do a review of the power block stand. Reason being, um, we're starting to see the inventory on some of this gym equipment and power blocks being one of them finally coming back into stock. And I think as the country as a whole opens up and people go back to uh, a new normal, whatever you want to call it, I, ha I fully believe that, you know, hopefully by the end of this summer and the beginning of the fall, we'll see inventories back up to normal or at the very least close to it. So I think a lot of people who um, were on the fence or couldn't get their hands on power blocks are going to eventually get their power block dumbbell sets. So if this does happen in the future, if there's a snowstorm, if the kids are sick and you've got to stay home with them, you can have a home gym. But the purpose of this video is actually the stand itself. Now, I don't think the stand was ever difficult to get, but I wanted to go over the ins and outs and the bells and whistles of the stand, why I chose this $69 version of the power block stand versus the much more expensive version and how I have liked it. So first and foremost, if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Um, this channel is just dedicated to being a great dad to your kids and still accomplish your own personal goals. And I cover so many different topics um, on this channel, but the, one of the ones that I cover very regularly and on this series specifically is home gym equipment. On the series, I simply review a piece of gym equipment, accessory, stuff like that to help you decide, hey, if it's right for your fitness goals, if it's right for your home gym, and if it's something that you might want to add in to your repertoire. So without further ado, let's get into it. So there are two styles of power block stands. The more expensive style of stand actually has a middle um, holder with a wider foot. Not only is it more expensive, but it actually has uh, a foot that comes right down the middle, almost like a pedestal. Um, and unfortunately, one of the main reasons I didn't go with that one, even though uh, it's more money, that wasn't the main reason. The reason I went with that is because it limited um, the space underneath the actual dumbbells. As we know, with home gyms, space is usually your um, most prized resource, um, and that's usually the thing that limits home gyms by far and large. So I knew by having an open footprint underneath, as you can see, I can stack things in there as well, whether it's dumbbells, kettlebells, anything. Obviously, you don't see anything stacked there now, but as this gym fills up, um, and when I'm looking for space, it's certainly a possibility. Also, when I get to the heavier uh, dumbbells, when I've really got to be careful picking these up, stepping in, I am actually able to place my foot right there in the middle. So I place one foot in the middle and I'm able to pull these dumbbells up and off the rack without any real struggle. Now, it does seem a little weird that, you know, we buy lifting equipment and then we try to buy things that make them easier. But the reason I am a huge fan of um, the stand themselves, whether you get the more expensive one or the cheaper one, is because of the versatility with respect to quick changeovers, with respect to drop sets, with respect to just being able to grab those dumbbells and go. It also makes it a lot easier to change the um, interchangeable little, I forgot what they're called, but the little blocks right there where my finger is, um, it makes it a lot, lot easier. For well over two and a half years, I just had these dumbbells on the floor. And I'm gonna tell you, if you're on a budget, you certainly don't need the stand. But once you get the stand, you're gonna wish you had gotten it a lot, lot sooner because of that level of convenience, not only for picking the dumbbells up and putting them down, uh, you know, because that's what we do as weightlifters, pick them up and put them down, but because of that drop set capability, because of the quick changeover between sets, stuff like that, and the convenience. Obviously, um, you're gonna save yourself a lot of straining, unnecessary and unforgiving straining when you don't have to pick stuff up off the floor. And again, it doesn't take up much space. As you can see, um, it does have four feet, but it doesn't take up much space at all, which is again, the main reason I went with this, um, this tray style, this, uh, you know, this dinner tray style 
stand rather than the bigger one, the pedestal style, which was obviously more expensive, but I thought was going to have a worse footprint for, with respect to actually taking up floor space. Here's what I will say. There's no assembly included. It just literally comes as is. The only thing you are going to have to um, actually assemble here is, hopefully you can see this. this. This mat is actually rough, and this is actually a sticker. So it comes with two of these stickers that when you get it and you open it up, you can then place the stickers to help prevent um, scratching and sliding of the actual power blocks. Um, again, $69 when I paid for it or when I bought it, and I think that's usually the going rate, but as you know with Amazon, uh, if you do go for Amazon, they do change daily, depending on the sales, depending on the demand. Um, as far as sturdiness, these things are sturdy. I was a little hesitant when I first got it, wondering if they were going to handle um, the dumbbells because I don't just have the 50-pound set. I have the two additional sets that go all the way up to 90. Um, that's another thing I can review. If anyone is interested, drop a comment below and I will put a review together of that. But yes, when, when these dumbbells are on, they are super sturdy. Um, and only when I, you know, I'm not careful picking the blocks up does the actual stand shift, but it does never, never at any point in time question whether it's going to fall over or tip over left, right, front, or back. So certainly super sturdy. I am going to put an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. So if anyone's looking to pick these up or just looking to see the price point uh, currently, uh, click on that link and check it out. Obviously, that link does help me out. It does help support the channel. Um, but overall, I, I definitely am kicking myself for not getting the stand sooner. Uh, and I've loved them. I've absolutely loved them. It just makes it so much more easier. And I, I agree that it's counterintuitive to um, get a stand to make lifting weights easier. But the reality is, yeah, that's what it is. It does make it look, make it easier and it allows you to put more of the stress and strain on the muscles that you're working rather than having to bend over and put weights up and down. I will say that these No Fate stickers are not included. Those are mine that I attached there. Um, if you are interested in uh, No Fate 24-7 stickers, I can't have those sent to you. Check out the links in the description below on how to get those stickers sent to you. Uh, overall, I hope you're all doing well. I hope when you see this video that the, the Rona virus is long gone or at the very least um, in some serious remission and we are back to as close to normal, if not a full normal, as possible. My fingers are absolutely crossed. Let me know in the comments below if your gym is open and if you've gone back to your local gym. I'm always curious uh, where the states are and what people are doing with respect to taking advantage of the local gyms or if they're going to just continue to work out in their home gyms and make it work even though the local gyms are still up or are now up and running. Uh, hey, if you came this far in the video, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Why not? It doesn't cost you a thing. And if you shop on Amazon, click on the Amazon link in the description below. It helps me out. It helps out the channel. And I greatly appreciate it. As usual, thanks for watching. And don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.